Hey, what's up everyone? Adam here. Uh, just want to give a quick review of the Code Orange listening party that happened Friday at Preserving Underground. Um, so with the whole COVID-19 outbreak, Code Orange had to cancel their record release show Saturday night at the Roxion. Um, they did release a live stream on Twitch of a show they did at the venue Empty. I'll throw the links down here in the YouTube video. Um, I did get a chance to check that out. I've actually watched it a couple of times and I really wish I could have been there live for it. The uh, graphics they used were amazing. Having seen them on tours for their last three albums, I kind of feel that they're hitting their stride. They've uh, taken their next course in their evolution. Um, you know, I've seen people kind of talk about the album online a little bit, saying it's kind of new metal. I don't really get that vibe from it. I get... Um, more of a vibe that they kept with their kind of, for lack of better terms, metalcore roots. They still have riffs like Disembodied, Martyr AD, All Out War, Earth Crisis, a lot of the 90s hardcore vibe, early 2000s. But they've also kind of added an industrial element to it, too, with a uh, former guitarist, Shade Baldrose, doing the programming. And uh, I'm not a big industrial fan, but it works for them. It, it kind of gives them, I'd say, more of a pitch shifter vibe than a ministry or godflesh vibe, even though they're all kind of in that realm. I think with Jamie, Reba, and Shade's vocals, it kind of has more of a pitch shifter feel. But anyway, my wife and I, we had just moved to Pittsburgh about six months ago. Um, saw they were having a release party at Preserving Underground, formerly known as Preserving Hardcore. And uh, it's my first time being there. I'm glad I finally made it out there. Um, killer selection of hardcore records. It's kind of a tight space, but they're moving to a new building. So I'm curious to see once they uh, move how the uh, selections expanded. They do have a cool hardcore museum when you first enter the building, which I want to go and spend more time checking out. Um, so we got there about 20 till 7, got an early spot in line. Uh, the way it was set up when you entered, you could buy the vinyl CD. And uh, then they had the band set up at a table where they'd sign either one for you. They had two options for the vinyl. One was a flesh and blood variant, which I grabbed. Um, as a nice little sleeve on it. The uh, album itself kind of has a lenticular cover. Uh, Jason Baker from the Savini School did a lot of the uh, props and shit like that. Um, once the band signed it, you could kind of roam about the store. They had an area where you could buy merch. They had a couple of Code Orange shirts specifically for the record release and the record uh, listening party. They also had like a pair of sweatpants there that they released. I'll throw a link to the band's site where you can get merch in the YouTube video as well. Um, I want to say when we were there, there's probably a good 50 to 100 folks there, which was cool. I was surprised by the turnout with all the shit going on in the world right now. You never know how these things are going to go. So... Um, that's super cool. We hung out till about 8, 8.30, just, you know, it'd been a long day with work and everything. But I'd already kind of said why I dig about the album. I can't really find much not to like about it. 
if I think if you like Code Orange, you'll be a fan of this because you can kind of see how they've evolved on each album that this just makes perfect sense for this record versus um, being stuck in the same vein that so many bands get caught in. Like, it's good to see a band that knows what they want to do set out and accomplish it versus being kind of complacent. And, um, you know, you get some clean vocals from Reba on some tracks, which is good because I'm a fan of their former side project adventures that featured um, Reba, Jamie, I believe Joe, and uh, Dominic Landolina, who joined the band in 2017. So um, it's kind of good to hear how the clean vocals fit in with their abrasive sound. And uh, yeah, I'd say go and grab the album. We had a blast at the record uh, listening party. As a real chill atmosphere, they had some props there. And I'll throw some pictures up in the video somewhere. But uh, yeah, check it out. Listen to something new. Expand your horizons. Oh, <laughs>